loud noise the power has gone out four times today. And finally, not really loud noise. Has been initiated by national alert and warning authorities in coordination with emergency alert system participants. Hey, what is up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. So I am actually at the beach right now on vacation with the family, but I wanted to get a video up and this notification seemed just right to me and it popped up on my phone and I've done videos on this before and it's been a while, but as you can see, as reported by LiveScience.com among others, there is a giant sunspot and we'll get to what a sunspot is and what this means in a minute, but a giant sunspot has doubled in size in just the past 24 hours and it's pointing straight at earth how do you like that and earth will remain in the sunspots crosshairs for a few more days now from what i've read here the sunspot that has appeared on our sun directly pointed at us has grown to a size that is twice of this planet so it's the size of two earths with a diameter ranging of around 20,000 miles and so some of you that may be new to the channel or you just need to be reminded in short a sunspot and especially massive ones like this they appear as darker areas on the suns hence the name sunspot and so these massive areas are regions of intense and complicated magnetic fields that can produce what are known as solar flares otherwise known as the simpler term cmes or coronal mass ejections so basically we have our sun that starts to develop these massive dark sunspots that are created and made up of magnetic fields and plasma until like a volcano they erupt produce Producing solar flares, which are these bursts of high energy radiation and plasma sent flying out into space. And sometimes these eruptions or coronal mass ejections are aimed directly at planet Earth. And typically, when they do hit Earth, thanks to our own planet's magnetic field, we really don't feel the effects of it. Maybe some radio transmission problems, cell phone signals may go in and out, and possibly some internet and cable TV disruptions that last for up to a couple of hours. And so, sunspots and solar flares are an everyday occurrence currents but there are also sizes and levels to a solar flare much like there are earthquakes here on planet earth some are very small some are powerful enough it could mean total lights out for the entire planet or at least part of the planet sending us back to the 1700s having fried the entire electricity grid of the entire country or the entire planet which i've heard could take up to five to ten years for us to restore said energy grid the fact that not only do we have a giant sunspot that has in the last 24 hours doubled its size to twice that of planet earth this sunspot which has been dubbed ar3038 which actually grew to 2.5 times earth size is pointing directly at us and will be for the next few days now, does a sunspot mean that there's going to be a giant solar flare? No, not always, but it is an indicator that the magnetic field is building and an eruption could happen. And as I said, we do have sort of a defense shield around our Earth with our own magnetic field, and sometimes even when they're pointed at Earth, with Earth being so small, sometimes they just graze the planet. The last time that there was any sort of real massive direct hit to planet Earth as a result of a solar flare was known as the Carrington Event and it is history's greatest solar storm. 
And to put it briefly, the Carrington event, it was a large solar storm that took place at the beginning of September of 1859, just a few months before the solar maximum of 1860. So in August of 1859, astronomers around the world watched with fascination as the number of sunspots grew. And among them was a guy named Richard Carrington, an amateur sky watcher in a small town called Red Hill near London, England. And on September 1st, as Mr. Carrington was sketching a drawing of these sunspots, he was blinded by a sudden flash of light. Carrington described it as a white light flare and the whole event lasted about five minutes. The flare turned out to be a major coronal mass ejection, or CME, a burst of magnetized plasma straight from the sun heading toward Earth, traversing over 90 million miles before unleashing its full force on our planet. And the day that it happened, planet Earth experienced an unprecedented geomagnetic storm with telegraph systems going haywire and massive auroral displays in the sky that are normally confined to polar latitudes. And so the Carrington event in the mid-1800s, it sparked a huge geomagnetic storm that wreaked havoc with technology that we had at the time. Power lines and grids that we did have were fried, and Earth fell silent as telegraph communications around the world failed. But again, guys, I'm not fear-mongering here. I'm just as interested as you, but the fact that this thing has grown to 2.5 times the size of Earth, it's pointing right at us. It's definitely something to keep an eye on. Make sure you have your backup generators handy. And let's hope that the U.S. government or your government, wherever you may be watching this from, has some, uh, some backup generators and fail-safes if this were to occur. But I will keep you guys updated, so tell me what you think down below. Thanks again for stopping by. Be sure to subscribe on my Secure Team Facebook, my Instagram, my Twitter for video upload updates and other info about the channel. And I also want to thank the couple of viewers who on my last video threw me a tip via the new Super Thanks button, which is actually right under this video next to the Like button. And you'll see a little icon that has a little dollar sign and it says Super Thanks, and it actually works the same way as a live stream where you can actually leave a tip on any particular video and your comment be highlighted in a color along with the amount that you donated to the video. So if you like the video, throw it a super thanks and have a really cool highlighted comment. And you know, it's just another great way for you to support. And I want to say thanks to those who have used this new feature. So stay tuned guys, more videos coming. Thank you for sticking by Secure Team and I will have another video up in just a bit. Stay safe guys.